You know, you'd think that I'd be able to catch a break. That things would start to turn around for me. Not anytime soon. What? I did a reading for you, Kay, as you asked me, and I'm afraid things don't look good. They don't look good at all. Let me guess. I'm not going to get Miguel. I'm sorry, Kay. Plus, he's going to get back together with Charity. Yep, I'm afraid so. Which equals lots and lots of pain for me. Yes, I imagine. I gather things didn't go too well over at the Bennetts, either. No. I overheard Miguel and Charity having a little chat. It turns out that they're going to team up. He's going to help her with her business. Business? What business? Her design business. Design business? I thought she was just making one dress. Oh, she's still making that damn dress. But she also has bigger plans. What well, bigger plans? What, what? They were talking about forming a company. Charity handling the creative end. Miguel taking care of the finances. Damn her. You know, every time I think she's out of the picture, she just reappears, stronger than ever. She's ready to get her claws into Miguel. Well, this one might be a little hard to sell. I went a little crazy. No, I think it's great. Really? Well, I started to make it already, actually. That's why I have the measurements. You know, I think you should wear this dress to the Founders Day dance tonight. It may be good advertising for your designs. I don't know if it's that good. And trust me, it's that good. I mean, in fact, all your designs are great. I mean, I don't think we're going to have any problem making your work into a successful business. That would be so amazing. Yeah. Dude, well, first we have to decide on, you know, how your talents will be best served. You know, like, do you want to sell your designs to big stores, or would you want to open up your own shop? My own shop? I kind of like that idea. Or you could sell your designs to chain stores. You know, or on the internet, like we talked about before. Or do both. Do you know what you want? I know exactly what I want. I've always known. And what is that, Charity? What do you want? TC? TC! Oh, God, he's bleeding. He must have fallen and hit his head. TC? TC, it's Liz! TC! Know why you slipped, TC. Because of your knee. The knee that was injured in the car accident that Julian Crane caused. That accident ended all hope you had of a tennis career. Caused me to die of a broken heart, and it's time you took revenge on that bastard. Julian, I don't understand. What do you mean by you've taken steps to protect me? When Luis reveals the Crane family secrets tonight at this... at this dance, you needn't worry that your family will find out the real truth about our past. I've taken care of that you... you won't be hurt. Yes, but how? You're protected. And you're sure that Luis is going to do this? <laughs> yes. He went to enormous trouble to steal those discs from Father, and they... they contain incredibly incriminating information, every underhanded thing Father and I have ever done. And Luis has wanted to bring down the Crane Empire for years. It appears he's about to do it. I don't understand how you can be so calm about all of this, Julian. Luis was good enough to tell me what's going to happen this evening. The consequences. For you and me, my darling, will be staggering. Our son? We'll learn his identity. But I will be arrested and most likely sent to prison for a very long time. Oh, Julian. 
Everyone will learn about our past, including TC and your daughters. Well, I wanted to tell my family everything when the time was right, but if they're going to find out tonight from someone else... As I said before, I've taken care of everything. I've made sure that you won't lose your family. But how can you make sure of that? How can you be sure that I won't lose my family? It's all in here. This will make certain that you'll... you'll be happy for the rest of your life. No, 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 stop. The judge won't order you to have an abortion. I'm gonna kill you! God, please don't kill my daughter! Gwen, come on! Go, kill Cacosita! Order! Order! If this is outrageous, we'll do something, I'm Bailiff! I'm gonna kill you for what you have done to me, Teresa! Tell me, Charity. You said you know exactly what you want. I mean, were you talking about designing clothes or something else? I, um, I want uh, people to like the clothes and wear them and for us to do whatever we have to do to make it happen, so. And that's all? Why? What did you think that I wanted? I don't know. I just thought maybe... Uh... Ne never mind. Okay, um, well, you know, now we have to figure out the best way to market your clothes to the public. I mean, you do, you know, still want to work together, right? As a team? You know, me doing the business end, you doing the creative end? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, well, um, I have some ideas. Miguel, I love it that we're working together. I only wish we could be together. Miguel and Charity are going into business together? Yep, that's right. And I overheard Miguel say that they would make a great team. <sighs> this is not how it was supposed to work out. Charity was supposed to become some designer and move off to New York or Paris, wherever. I didn't care. As long as it was far away from Harmony. And with her out of the way, I wouldn't have to worry about her trying to get Miguel back. Or him being tempted to go back to her. But is that what's going to happen? Apparently not. No. She had to go and drag Miguel into her stupid design fantasy. And have him help her become some successful designer. And then you know what's going to happen? They will move off to London or Paris together. And leave me here to raise Maria alone. I can picture it now. It would be horrible. Get away from me, you damn cats! Who? Oh, I guess the sea air does not dispel the spell of fish. I thought working on the fishing boats would be better than the cannery. But it's worse. Even more cats are following me home. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> what smells? Oh, it's you. Hey, Miguel, is Maria with you? Did you bring her to see me? Yeah, but I don't think that's such a good idea. I don't want our daughter smelling like fish guts. I love the new dress you made for me. Oh, you do? Well, we'll get you some shoes when we get to Paris. I can't wait. <laughs> Ew, something stinks. Oh, it's you. Hey, sweetheart. Shouldn't you take a shower or something, Mom? You're grossing me out. Yeah, yeah, I understand. 
Actually, I'm gonna go take one right now, and then you and I can spend some time together. Actually, um, we're leaving. We're on the next flight to Paris. Fashion week. Charity's gonna be showing her new collection. She's so talented. Uh, right. You know, Kay, I think it was best for everybody that Charity and I raised Maria. I mean, with Charity's clothing line, we've been able to show Maria the world. You know, give her everything that you wouldn't have been able to give her on your salary. Can we go, Daddy, please? I feel like I'm going to throw up. Mom smells. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Uh, come on, let's go, Charity. <laughs> Fine with me. I miss my little girl so much. Yeah, well, she's not so little anymore. I've missed out on most of her childhood. I missed watching her grow up. Miguel, oh, I still love him so much, Tabitha. Ooh, I, I'm going to run a shower for you, dear. No. I won't let that happen. I'm gonna keep Charity and Miguel apart, no matter what I have to do. You will stop this immediately! Ethan, get stop. off! Stop it, stop it. Stop. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Small breaths, okay? Okay. Teresa, are you okay? Ethan, do yourself a favor and take care of your wife, okay? I got it over here. Ethan, remember where your loyalties lie. You don't have to tell me where my loyalties lie, Rebecca, okay? Well, someone has to. Yeah, you all right? Yes, I, I can do it. Okay, go. Sit down. Thank you. Mrs. Winthrop, I could have you arrested for attempted murder. Well, why don't you give me 30 more seconds with that bitch and it'll be murder. Gwen, Gwen, sorry. My wife is under a lot of stress lately, Your Honor. Well, that doesn't give her the right to try to kill someone. I know, she knows that, she understands that. What I don't understand is how you could let Teresa get away with this! Excuse me, Mrs. Winthrop? You better watch your attitude. Look, Your Honor, I'm sorry, okay? I apologize. I am just extremely upset right now. Come on. You pull yourself together, Mrs. Winthrop, and you sit down. Everyone, take your seat. Judge, you cannot let her get away with this. I thought I asked you to sit down, Your Mrs. Your Honor, she posed as our surrogate, okay? She had my eggs implanted in her so she could hold our child hostage as blackmail. How can you possibly reward this criminal behavior? I understand your frustration, Mrs. Winthrop, but my ruling stands. I will not order Mrs. Lopez Fitzgerald to have an abortion, and I will not change my decision. Look, I have done considerable research into in vitro, and I have to say your lawsuit may be moot anyway. What are you talking about? Well, the fact of the matter is, this procedure may not have taken. I mean, Teresa Lopez Fitzgerald may not even be pregnant. Oh, my God. That's what the doctor said. What if I'm not pregnant? I'm gonna lose my son. He's right. He's right. I mean, she may not even be pregnant. <sighs> the procedure had to work. I have to be pregnant. I have made my decision. Teresa Lopez Fitzgerald cannot be forced to have an abortion. Your Honor, please. Please don't do this. And I will not tolerate any more personal attacks on Miss Lopez Fitzgerald. Now, is that clear, Mrs. Winthrop? And as for you, Miss Lopez Fitzgerald, just because my decision went in your favor does not mean I approve of your behavior. I think what you did is immoral, to say the least. You have a history of bizarre behavior, and this court will be keeping its eye on you. So watch yourself. And I suggest the rest of you try to behave like civilized human beings if you are capable. <sighs> this hearing is adjourned. All rise. If I'm not pregnant, then all of this was for nothing. Maybe it's for the best, Teresa. No, no, because then I'm gonna have nothing to trade for my baby. I'm never gonna get little Ethan back. Oh, you got that right. 
You are never gonna get little Ethan back, ever. Julian Crane ruined your life, caused my death. It's time you take action against him by now. Pop, I have. Oh, come on, TC. I mean, sure, you beat the hell out of him every chance you get, but you've done nothing to settle the score for good. And the time has come for that. Pop, I don't have any proof. Find the proof, damn it! Settle the score. My God, Julian Crane has taken everything from you, from both of us. I dreamed one day my son would be a tennis star, play Wimbledon, and that car wreck ruined your knee. Ruined any chances you've had of competing professionally. And it was Julian Crane's fault, and it's high time he paid for it. So make him pay, TC. Make him pay. I'm gonna make him pay, Bob. Well. I'm going to make him pay. What's in the envelope, Julian? Please. Open it. This will ensure that you don't lose your husband and your daughters. I will not let you do that, Julian, no! You are my passion for life. Okay, uh, I've drawn up two different business plans depending on which direction you want to go. Okay. Explain it to me. <laughs> okay. Okay, the first is if you want to sell your clothes to a larger distributor. Like department stores. Exactly. And the second is if you want to start your own clothing boutique. You maybe even eventually start your own chain of stores stocked with your own designs. Mm, I don't know. I mean, they're both really exciting. What do you think? I mean, you're the one setting business in college. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, they're your designs. You know, I think this one's really fantastic, Charity. And it's really original. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah, this one's my favorite. I think you should wear it at the Founders Day dance. You know, so everyone can see how talented you are. We'll see. Do you have any more like this one? <laughs> uh, not, not exactly like this one. Similar, why? Well, I was just thinking that if I saw some more of your designs, I could get a better handle on how to market your clothing line. Clothing line? Not exactly, I mean, it's just a few designs. Well, you gotta think big. You know, we gotta be looking <laughs> at the future. Yeah, the, the future. Well, where are your other designs? Um, they're in the kitchen on the computer. Okay, well, show me. You know, if we're gonna be the best business team ever, then I gotta know everything about you. I mean, ab about your work. Right. Miguel, if you knew everything about me, you would know that I never stopped loving you. I will not let Charity and Miguel be together. I'm gonna break up their little business team before it even gets started. Well, that's very ambitious, dear. You don't even have a plan. Hmm. Who said I didn't? You wanna hear it? Yes, I'd be very curious. That's very extreme, even for you, Kay. I mean, are you sure you want to do that? Well, yeah, Charity's left me with no choice. If I have to get down and dirty and nasty to keep her from Miguel, well, then so be it. No. No, Julian, I'm not going to let you do this. It's the only way. What, this confession that you have written and signed? This says that you raped me years ago and that our child is a product of that rape. Well, no, I am not going to let you tell the world that I didn't love you and that I didn't want you and that you took me by force. Listen, no! If you don't let me do this, if I don't say that I raped you, you will lose TC. He'll hate you. Your daughters will hate you. Is that what you want? Oh, what about you? 
You said that you're going to go to trial for crimes that you committed, and now you're going to throw rape on it top of it. It doesn't matter. It does There will matter. be no leniency for me. You have no idea the things I have done. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, besides if TC thinks that you raped me, he's going to kill you. You'll never get to prison. He'll kill you. <laughs> You must take your revenge, TC. Make Julian Crane pay. Make him pay. Make him pay. Make him pay. Oh. Oh. God, TC, I thought you were dead. Uh, what happened? I, I, I think you fell from the ladder and hit your head. Uh, did you see my father? T.C., why are you asking me about your father? Your father is dead. Liz, answer me. Did you see him? No. T.C., I didn't see your father. Are, are you okay? Liz, I'm fine. There's something I have to do. I got... No, T.C., come on. You hit your head and your knee is still bothering you. Liz, I am fine. I have to find Julian Crane, and I'm going to make him pay for what he did to me. I am going to get my son back, Gwen, because I am pregnant. Like hell you are. Oh, come on, Gwen. You think so, too, or else you wouldn't have sued me to force me to have an abortion. You know what, Teresa? The odds are with me. In vitro doesn't always take the first time, so this whole thing, you know, you've done here means nothing. It was just a big waste of time. You're wrong, Gwen. After that nosebleed you had, and you admitted to me you're Ethan, not well. Ethan, I told you I'm under doctor's care and that I don't want my children to know. You said you wouldn't say anything. I won't tell. I won't say anything. I'll stick to the story that you fell, but... Thank you. But I'm worried about you. I know how much Teresa depends on you. I don't know what she would do if... You're, you're very important to her. You know that, to all your children. I know. I know. As they are to me. The most important thing in the world, actually. Well, listen, don't, don't worry about this. Don't worry about Teresa. She's strong. She's a survivor, and she will get through this. Okay. I hope you're right. I pray you're right. Thank God, my children need me. Please don't let me die. The judge is right. In vitro isn't foolproof, it's hit or miss, and you've missed. Oh, no, I haven't, Gwen. See, a woman knows when she's pregnant, and let me tell you, I am pregnant. In fact, I'm already nauseous, but that's probably because I'm looking at you. No, sweetheart, if you're nauseous, it's probably because you realize you're sunk. I'm married to Ethan, I'm having a family with him, and I'm gonna raise little Ethan as my very own, and there is nothing you can do to stop it. Nothing! Oh, I'll figure something out, Gwen. You're not going to get away with this. Well, I think we should go. Yes, I think there's been enough insanity for one day. Indeed. So, you know, what if she's right? What if I'm not pregnant? Well, I have an idea. What? Well, I think there's a way that we can get little Ethan back Maybe even today. Today? Okay, what are you talking about? Come with me. All right. How would TC even get close to me, let alone kill me? I'll be arrested and put away in a cell. No, Julia. I'm not going to have anybody think that you forced yourself on me. That's not what happened. I wanted you as much as you wanted me. Well, if you think about it, it, it was rape in a way. How can you say that? Well, you were so innocent when I first met you. You were so vulnerable. I took advantage of that. I, I, I introduced you to that, that life, life of excess. I was a grown woman. 
I made my own choices. And the thing that I most wanted was to be with you because you made me so happy. You made me happy too, even I loved you so much and I still do. I love you too, Julia. That's why I'm not going to let anybody say that you forced yourself on me. That our child is a result of rape? No, I'm not going to let them say that. Look, this is the only way that you can keep TC and your girls. It's the only way to save your marriage. That you could even think of making this kind of sacrifice for me that you'd be willing to. I'd do anything for you, you know that. And what kind of person would I be? if I just let you sit in jail for the rest of your life. The only thing I'll miss is, is time spent with you. <laughs> you know, this, my fantasy since I first fell in love with you was I... was that you'd share my life with me. Uh, it's crazy, but I always thought that eventually we would be together. I don't think it's so crazy. I used to think the very same thing. <laughs> I mean, I didn't know if it would happen, but I used to imagine what it would be like if we, we had a life together. Do you remember the vision that we had the night of the green fog? Mm. Of the life we would have had in New York? I was a famous singer. Mm. <laughs> and you were my brilliant manager. Yeah. God, we were so happy. We could have had that life if it wasn't for me. I just, I, I hate that I abandoned you. I, I... No. You were under such terrible pressure from your father. I was a coward. I caved in. The price I paid was losing the best thing that ever happened to me. And we would have had such a wonderful life, wouldn't we? Full of love and happiness. And... Now I have a life that's full of regrets. My poor darling. I guess I, I should be getting back. I understand. But I don't want to leave you. Before you go, uh, one last kiss, please. is going to pay for what he did to me. Julian Crane is going to pay. TC, I don't understand. Liz, you don't need to understand. What is going on? Wait. Where are you taking me? Somewhere where we can be alone. Teresa. Damn the whole family. Uh, oh, oh, I got Pilar's blood all over my shoes. Now I have to change for the, the dance again. Mother, please. That little witch, she damn well better not be pregnant with our child, Ethan. Uh, honey, even if she is, there's nothing we can do about it now. The judge made his decision. Might as well accept it. Accept it? That woman had herself implanted with my eggs and stole my child, uh, our child, and you just think we're supposed to accept it? No, no, you, but you should try to show a little compassion. She's just desperate to get her son back, that's all. You know, Ethan, why are you always more concerned with Teresa than you are with your own wife, your own family? Wait, wait a minute, Rebecca, that's ridiculous, okay? I love Gwen, I'm on her side. I just don't like to see any mother separated from her child, okay? Oh, well, cue the bloody violins, Ethan. Honey, and plus Pilar. Come on, she's being kept from her grandson. She loves that little boy. 
What are you going to tell me next? That you're glad Teresa might be pregnant with our child because it warms your heart? No, no. I'm not happy that Teresa's pregnant with our baby or might be pregnant with our baby. All I'm saying is that if she is, I don't want her to have an abortion. Which means that you agree with the judge's ruling, which means, yet again, you're siding with Teresa. I don't want to argue about this, okay? Look, I don't want to argue it about it either, and I don't even know why we're even talking about it in the first place, because Teresa's not pregnant. Oh, my God. What are you doing here? Stepmom, you're forgetting something. I have a key to this place. I live here. Teresa, what do you want? I'm here to settle everything between us, Gwen, once and for all. Oh, yes. I'm going to stop Charity and Miguel's business before it even starts. Okay, if Miguel ever finds out what you did, he'll never forgive you. You know that. Well, you know what? That's a risk I'm going to have to take. Because if I don't do something right now, Charity and Miguel are going to get back together. And I can't let that happen. Well, you have to do what you have to do. Now you're getting it. Oh, and uh, when I come back, Charity's chances of ever being with Miguel will be finished. I mean, not only are your designs really stylish, they're one of a kind. Thank you. We can do this, Charity. I mean, we can make this business a huge success. Well, I've always known that together you and I could do anything. Yeah, I've always known that too. <sighs> Miguel? Yeah? Um, I was thinking that maybe this dress would be really good for the summer line. What do you think? Yeah, 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 it'd be great. I was even thinking that maybe I could use it in a print ad. Yeah, or, or we could use more than one dress in the ad, right? Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, we could do like a, a collage type thing. Kind of like this. Enjoy your time with Miguel now, Charity. Because when I'm finished with you, you'll be spending the rest of your life alone. We'll be safe here. Are you sure about this? Julia, I don't care about anything right now except the two of us. And our love and everything that we've missed. Oh, God, I love you so much. <laughs> I feel happier than I felt in a really long time. Yeah, me too. You know, there's nothing we can't do, Charity, as long as we believe in each other. I believe in you. I believe in us. I just, I love the idea of working together like this. I just love it. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be some team, huh? The best. Some team my ass. I'm gonna ruin you, Charity. Oh, look. I was hoping she'd leave her little sketchbook out here. Hmm. Founders Day dance with a question mark. Some measurements. I bet she's gonna wear this to the dance. Okay. You wouldn't be so mean. Oh, yes, I would. Stupid dress turns out now, Miss Fashion Designer Phony. Oh, yeah, I doubt Miguel want to start a business with you now. Julian pay once and for all. What is TC up to? Oh my God. 
Give me my son back, Gwen. Hand him over. Have you lost your mind? Right now. Teresa, what is this? I said, Gwen, give me my child back. I am not giving you anything, you crazy bitch. Besides, we don't even know if you're pregnant. We do. What are you talking about? Yeah, what are you talking about? <sighs> Fox had an idea. Oh, well, that's a novelty. Yeah. yeah. Well, we made a stop on the way over here, honey. Do it. To find out if I was, in fact, pregnant. And you know what? I took this test and two lines appeared. You know what that means? That I am, in fact, with child. <sighs> I can't believe that. Well, yeah, it's true. I'm having a child with Ethan. So if you ever want to see this kid, Gwen, you hand mine over. Gwen, what are you waiting for? Give me my son back, now. Time for reality here. She's having our baby. Look, I know what you're saying, okay? It's a simple switch and everybody wins. Can I get my son back? What are the chances Alistair Crane has any information on my mother and father? Oh my God. I'm authorizing the evacuation of the entire West Coast. Would never come. It could take out the California coastline. Has begun. Cities will crumble. Heroes will rise. A major miniseries event. 10.5. NBC Sunday, 9-8 Central.